It's my time, lay me six feet deep in God's country. <laughs> well, on this hunt, I got my buddy Christian Hedstrom with me uh, for his 2018 North Dakota bow tag. We're heading up to an area where I'm from, actually getting on some private land that I've hunted all my life. Uh, after reviewing some trail camera photos for probably two months, I kind of had a five by five picked out for him or something bigger walked in, but that was the biggest buck we had on camera. And uh, he was excited. He had only gotten one deer with a bow before, and that was in Minnesota where he's from. So this would be his first bow deer in North Dakota. And uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. It, uh, it was fun. The weather wasn't supposed to be the best. It was supposed to be two days of really calm and then picking up uh, wind at the end like 20 to 30 so uh, we were hoping we'd get lucky and the deer would come out. All right, it's September 15th 2018 we've got Nick Myrie behind the camera we're out here after a 5x5 five five at Alton Stands pretty windy out tonight but hopefully we have a good shot at him. Now the next day uh, we changed our plans a little bit. The wind forecast switched and it would have been blowing right at the bait at a spot we call Alec and Stands where I had the 5x5 five five, uh, picked out for him. And uh, so we went actually way south of town to uh, private land again that I uh, had permission to hunt on from the farmer. just saw the one deer and so we were really hoping that uh, the wind forecasted for the next day would uh, help us out and uh, it looked like the direction was going to be really good so we'd be going back to the spot we called Alec and Stands for that 5x5 five five. and Chris I know was getting a little antsy because we had not seen many deer what three deer in two days and uh, he was hoping for better but Really hoping that last day we'd get it done. September 16th, 2018. We're out here at Alton Stands. We got Nick Myrie behind the camera. We got this nice five on five.
tracked them 100 yards up the tree row and uh, blood was iffy so we we marked our spot and we went back and uh, the sad truth is we didn't find them we didn't find them that night we didn't find them the next morning we didn't find them the day after that we went back next weekend and we didn't find them and uh, it's just one of those things that happens right away we thought the shot was perfect but after reviewing the footage uh, we determined it might be a little low just because the stand was elevated so high that he might have been shooting like he was out of a ground blind and uh, just missed everything low. And uh, yeah, we Chris felt terrible about it. Uh, I know he he was really broken up about it, but if you hunt long enough, these things are going to happen. And it's too bad that it happened to Chris on this hunt, but uh, that's just the way it goes. Well, a month later, the buck turned up. And uh, it's almost unfortunate that he turned up dead. Uh, wasn't our even neighbor of the property. It was the neighbor of our neighbor that found him next to one of his rifle stands, actually. And, uh, yeah, it's too bad. We were really hoping to get him back in and getting Chris back on that same deer. But, uh, yeah, he ended up running, I think, four miles as a crow flies. And it just, it just shows you how tough those deer are. And uh, it's too bad for Chris. He, uh, he felt like that uh, once that deer was found, he, uh, he wasn't going to hunt anymore in North Dakota, and that tag was burnt on that buck. So got to applaud him for that, not going back out after another one. But really hoping in uh, 2019 maybe we can get him a nice bow deer in North Dakota, finish the job this time. Side getting baptized in holy water and shine with the dogs running.